Alright, hey guys, it's Subaki Swag, and I'm coming to you with a review of Naruto Shippuden, episode 341, A Road to Tomorrow's Return. Alright, so this one picks up where the last one left off at, where they were showing, um, that Yugo, Jugo and Sunketsu, um, came to Sasuke after Itachi had vanished, after he released the, um, Ido Tensai. So, pretty much... They came to talk to Sasuke, well they came to find Sasuke, pretty much to tell him about like what was going on in the world and pretty much what he was missing, like the fact that Madara didn't go away when the Ido Tensai was released and just stuff like that and he came. To, they came to talk to him pretty much about that and then after they started talking, um, Sasuke noticed that Anko was like laying on the ground in the cave where Kabuto was because he had captured her. So um, he took a piece of Kabuto and put it on her curse mark to release the curse on her. So he could get Orochimaru because Orochimaru was never technically dead because everybody who has a curse mark on them has a piece of Orochimaru in him. It will end them because there's females too. So after they took that piece and put it on Anko and pulled, like pretty much pulled Orochimaru out of her, um, Orochimaru went to Kabuto and he took his chakra back that Kabuto had in him. So that way it took away Sage Mode and he wasn't a dragon anymore. But he was still under the um, Izignami that Sashi put on him until, of course, until he comes to terms with who he really is. But, um, after that, Orochimaru was like, was pretty much like, I already knew about the war because Sengetsu and Jugo said that they didn't want to tell Orochimaru about the war because he was probably going to try to attack the Hidden Leaf too because Orochimaru still has a thing for, the thing out against the Hidden Leaf. And Orochimaru's pretty much like, I have no interest in the war whatsoever, but he's going to help Sasuke. I think it's personally because he has he's well he said because he still wants Sasuke's body because originally the reason why Sasuke even became a part of all of this was because Orochimaru wanted his body but he told him that he would help him get more powerful and all this kind of stuff and he knew that Sasuke wasn't sure about himself so he used that to his advantage and of course Sasuke went along with it and y'all already know the story but, um, so Orochimaru pretty much said that he wants, he wants Sasuke's body, he doesn't want anything to do with the war, but he doesn't have the power to take his body right now, so he's gonna help. He's gonna help them. But, and he came to a realization that Sasuke wasn't a little kid anymore, because he could tell by the questions that he was asking and the way that he was speaking that he wasn't being controlled by Itachi or him or Toby for the most part so he's not going to be able to play any mind games on him anymore to try to get him to come back to his side but anyways um after that they show naruto and kakashi and guy still talking to toby and toby put the two gourds the one that had Kinkuku, Kinkuku, and Ginkuku into the wooden statue, and he put the piece of B's, one of B's tentacles that they took earlier when B was fighting Sasuke, um, Karen and Jugo, and put them inside the wooden statue so that way he could still get the tentails because even though he doesn't have the full beast, it's still part, it's still their chakra. So using that, he is about to get the tentails. Which Kurama further explained from within Naruto, he was telling them that he, he could still make the Ten Tails even though he doesn't ha actually have Kurama or Bee's Beast. <clears throat> and Kurama pretty much said that the Ten Tails, like he said that the original Sage of Six Paths said that the Ten Tails being revived was pretty much going to be a signal of the end of the world because. The Ten Tails is just so immaculate and devastating at the same time. <laughs> but, anyways, um, 
Kurama was pretty much saying that even though well, him by himself, he would not be able to, to fight the Ten Tails because the Ten Tails is all of the tail beast in one beast. And Kurama is just one of those tails, like one of those individual beast tail tail beast. <laughs> but but he said that even because him and B are the two most powerful out of the tail beasts, they might stand a chance at fighting the Ten Tails. Which is true. So that was pretty much Kurama's little narrative narrative in the episode but um, after that <laughs> Guy and Kakashi and Naruto were all pretty much contemplating how they're going to go about stopping the Tintel from being revived and Kakashi said this out loud and Toby of course was like Kakashi you we pretty much like you think out loud too much and of course Kakashi is a silent type but after that Naruto went into his BG mode and rushed towards the wooden statue with one of his Rasengans and then it cut off right before they impacted so that was pretty much the end of the episode but it was still pretty awesome if I do say so myself but um yeah that was the end and I can't wait to see the next episode because this is going to be the part where he is about to really fight Toby, I believe. If I can remember correctly. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I really don't care. I mean, I don't care if you correct me if I'm wrong. Because I love hearing feedback from everybody. But, anyways, I have to get ready to go to class because I'm about to be late. But, anyways, um, please remember, please, please, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Please subscribe because it means so much to me. And it will be greatly appreciated. But... Um, I guess as always, this is Subahi Swag saying adios.